Hello everyone, I'm Anna, your cinephile host. In this episode, I'd like to share with you a philosophy I learned from the movie Divine Secret of the Yaya Sisterhood. The movie tells a story of how a mother ruins her daughter's life, but her sworn sisters help her out to change the destiny of her family. It's a movie about friendship, the love between mother and daughter, and the love of a lost mind and her husband. Let me tell you the movie story first so you can discover the philosophy for yourself later. In 1937 Louisiana, four little girls in the woods at night take a blood oath of loyalty to one another, led by Vivi Abbott, who names the group the Yaya Sisterhood. Vivi claims that they are wolf and alligator people, moon women following ancient Indian, Norwegian and Amazon tradition to swear as sisters forever. The sworn sisters begin their eternal friendship that lasts all the way throughout their life. And now? By the power invested in me, I declare we are the mighty Yaya priestesses. Let no man put us under. Now our blood flows through each other, as it is done for all eternity. 53 years later, in the 1990s New York City, Vida's eldest daughter, playwright Sita Walker, gives an interview to a reporter from Time magazine mentioning her unhappy childhood as a major source of inspiration for her work. The reporter sensationalizes Sita's complaint, implying abuse and deep, dark family secrets. The article upsets Vivi, who calls Sita and angrily declares that she is dead to her. Vivi cuts Sita from her will, and Sita disinvites Vivi from her upcoming wedding. I heard the ice in the glass clinking, Mama! Sounds of my happy childhood! Why did you have to let her get to you like this? What just... What's wrong with a nice, simple, hi, mom, how are you? Uh-huh, uh-huh, love you too, got to fly, see you later. They then exchange retaliation with each other through delivery. Vivi sends photos of her and Sita where Sita's heads are cut out. She even delivers her will to Sita with written words, she gets nothing. Sita returns torn to scrap tickets and her wedding invitation cards with empty holes of time and place. Still, friends through the years, the other Yaya sisters, Carol Bennett, Teensy Whitman and Nisi Kelleher, decide to take the matter into their own hands. They kidnap Sita in New York and take her back to Louisiana, hoping to show her how Vivi's troubled past has caused her present issues, especially the harassment of Vivi's mother. They remember that at Vivi's first wedding, her father gave her a diamond ring, but her jealous mom took it away and cursed her. Whatever you did to make your father give you this ring is a mortal sin. May God forgive you. I didn't do anything. Seda thought that she was unbelievably abused by her own mother all her life. What she doesn't know is that her mom was tragically abused by her mom, Seda's grandma, as well. It seems there is a vicious circle that is forming. However, with the intervention of the Yaya sisters, by reading the secret book of their past, titled Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood, lots of good memories come back to Sita. She is now in the fight between good and bad memories. She asks her fiancé not to send out their wedding invitation cards because she fears that she might abuse their children too. Her mother, however, in the meantime, is regretting her past. She knows that Sita has the right to complain about her craziness, which she doesn't know where it comes from and how to stop it. She then talks to her old friend, the black maid who served all her life at her mom's house, who tells Vivi to let her daughter feel the way she feels. Because everybody's bill comes due. Vivi has to face her past with honesty. Ultimately, Vivi decides to pray with the ritual she used to intervene in the arrangement of fate. She prays for Sita to marry her fiancé. My oldest daughter, Sita Lee, the one I've been complaining about, the loudmouth, she may be walking away from true love. Please stop her. Don't let her run away. 
this is because of me. Vivi then tells Sita's fiance that she went crazy one day and heavily beat Sita and her younger brother and sisters. Their black maid and her husband helped Sita and her siblings back to their home. She even sold her diamond ring for money to run away from her children. But days later she went back home and took the ring back. That night, Vivi passionately accepts the love of Sita's father again. I knew the first time I laid eyes on you, there was no one like you in the whole world. And when I said, for better or worse, I knew it was a coin toss. Eventually, the Yaya sisters decide to take Sita into their secret group, led by Vivi with the ritual as 50-something years before. She announces their oath just like she did in their childhood. Sita is now sharing the sisterhood with her mom. The Yayas cut their old wounds on their palm to exchange blood with each other to welcome Sita. Loyal forever, we raise our voices in the words of Mumbo Gumbo, yeah! Sita and Vivi are now sisters beyond the relationship between mother and daughter. They let go of their past, which cuts off them forming vicious circle. Sita's father and fiancé are happily sitting in the chairs on the porch with ease. No matter what their wives would do, they are now fully aware of the secret of their sisterhood. Vivi admits that she had won the worst mother prize and she gives the diamond ring to Sita. It is a happy ending. But do you really know what the secret of the Yaya sisterhood is? Have you found the most important factor that pushes everyone in the movies to let go of the past and to go forward? What I learned from the movie is that rule number one of life is don't obey any rule. Rule number two is to follow rule number one. Rule number three is that if there is anything contradictory to rule number two, follow rule number one. Hope you've learned something from this episode. If you don't, please try our dialogue practice to learn more about the secret of the Yaya sisterhood. And don't forget to log on to the Fonde website to find more. Let's practice there! So beautiful, not Now, there's just one more thing that I want to ask you. Now, I want you to go dance till your socks melt. Okay. But I want you to be totally honest. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Do I look like I've gained weight? No. Actually, I think you may be too thin. God love you, darling. <laughs>